Hi, welcome to the NZCN Tourism webinar series for 2016, focused on building value around the China FIT or free independent traveller market. Um, this program is sponsored by um, MB, the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, and um, this is Module 9, which is focused around seasonal development and activation. What we're going to cover is the seasonal demand opportunities. Um, are the China independent travellers interested? And they are. Um, why? What do we have to offer throughout the seasons and developing that seasonal offer? So definitely the Chinese are interested in travelling throughout our calendar year. And in fact, um, the areas of interest are fairly even and uh, it's not particularly during our traditional high period. This is a graph showing the interest of the China Free Independent Traveller. Um, we have other information on the Chinese travellers overall, and they also have demand throughout the year. But in fact, the Chinese Independent Traveller, their demand is even more even. And you can see that there is interest um, in each of our seasons um, almost equally and on the first visit less propensity to even come in December, January and February. What's of particular interest are uh, the May period which is um, one of the main Chinese uh, holidays, Chinese New Year, and the October period which is the Chinese national holidays. This October period is particularly important because some of the national holidays have been reallocated into that time. But very exciting because there is, if we can communicate what's available, 12 month demand. And this slide just summarises um, some of those, uh, the May to October period. Um, during that time it's uh, public holidays, people will take advantage of those. The school holidays are from June to September and it's a great time for um, parents to spend time with their children. Um, and also at any other convenient time. People who are employed uh, generally try and organise holidays around um, the national holidays, but people who are self-employed, um, and sometimes people even will stop their employment to travel, uh, they have much more flexibility. So what's critical to driving seasonal extension is to give our visitors a real really strong why story. What is the experience like at different times during the year and how do our regions offer seasonal experiences? We need to communicate really clearly that whenever you want to come there are great and unique things to do and that our seasons are not like those in China, that they are relatively moderate and you can have a great time in the, the environment um, 12 months of the year. So why New Zealand? Um, definitely moderate, um, and it really isn't just the China market. Other markets also don't really have necessarily a really clear idea of what the experience is like, but we need to show them. One of the key ways to show visitors that things are pleasant um, all year round or can be is through imagery. And imagery that so shows some green as well as snow um, in winter periods is particularly um, helpful in anchoring our winter is um, quite manageable. Um, in China the winter gets so cold um, that they would expect to see snow on the ground so this is quite a contrast. And also that our seasons offer very different experiences, that a winter experience is pleasant um, and refreshing and um, the summer experience and um, spring and autumn experiences um, all have very different and enjoyable things to do. Anchoring um, our months or what's happening in New Zealand um, and understanding what's happening in China is really important. So the December to January period in China is extremely dark and cold and with that often quite dirty um, in their cities. In our very moderate summer, summer climate um, is very, very pleasant as an adjunct to that. The March to May period is when there is often peak travel in China and it's extremely crowded, not only in China, but in other places that the Chinese are going to visit, particularly the Northern Hemisphere and the popular global 
um, tourism destinations during that time are often very, very busy, and New Zealand isn't. In June to August, um, it's extremely often soaring heat um, in China and very, very humid and polluted, very, very difficult during that time. Uh, in New Zealand, it's a very crisp, refreshing um, experience that's, that can be very, very pleasant and again quite moderate. And September to, to November, again, crowds um, in a lot of places in the Northern Hemisphere and our springtime is very attractive then. This diagram shows that in a little bit more detail, what the appeal is, um, what's happening at a national level, regionally with the stories that we can tell, and what potentially are highlight interests for the Chinese at those times of year. It's very important that even though a lot of our experiences can be done 12 months of the year, that we have highlight experiences that characterise what's particularly enjoyable at different times. We must, in order to do that, follow their seasons and contextualise our offer. So developing our particular offer, um, the first is to very clearly show what by region, we, what it is like um, at different times. And this is an example I, uh, of Sumner Beach, uh, what it's like in winter, um, or spring, well, I think winter and summer, that there are different experiences throughout the year in one place. Um, and again, the moderate nature of our seasons, um, that it, even in winter can be very, very pleasant, and that it isn't a frozen environment. Um, also clearly communicating um, spring and autumn, that it is something that's very, very pleasant and quite manageable. Showing the clothing that um, you can wear at different times helps anchor the experience and how you can engage in environment um, activities. This is an example um, showing, again, the contrast, and I think that makes it clearer, around a great experience of taupo in the, in the summer, and what you can do in winter. And a similar ex ex uh, example from Southland. Um, if we're looking at the children's market, um, at the moment it's still relatively small. I think around 11 to 12 percent of Chinese FIT visitors are coming with children. Once they've been, they do have an intention to bring their families back. Um, it's if you are an activity that currently is suitable for children, uh, this could be a target market that has real attraction for you. If you're interested in this market, often it's the children who will be making decisions, so bear that in mind in any promotional material. Um, also, some product and communication opportunities, certainly seasonal promotion if you do have discounts over your slower periods that will help to attract um, to Chinese who love a deal. Um, and promote winter, spring and autumn only experiences, things that are unique like whale, mi whale migration or natural um, wildlife experiences, flower and garden bloom experiences, um, and anything else that's got a particular high. Anchors that enable understanding uh, to help contextualize are the temperature, how many layers of clothing you need, the sunrise and sunset times, particularly for photography, what the temperatures are like at day and night, um, and um, comparative photo uh, collection from a particular location can help. And they want to know where is it good to go, what's it good to do, and what would be a highlight at that time of year. So we recommend that you differentiate your seasons, um, communicate this online on your websites, and have a very clear um, seasonal offer. Our shoulder seasons are certainly very attractive. Um, there are some festivals linked to seasons that the Chinese are particularly interested in, and a calendar of festivals by time of year and season would be really um, relevant. Things that are of particular interest, gardens, food, the Chinese festivals and experiencing those in New Zealand, agriculture and farm, festivals and events, and snow festivals. And just remembering in light of this that our ordinary is certainly extraordinary for Chinese, particularly some of the events and festivals that we have that you wouldn't find anywhere else in the, new, in the world. 
Um, anything to do with seafood is particularly attractive and would potentially get um, and enable visitors to actually plan around those things. Um, some examples of great winter product, um, indulgent wellness spas are something that could really work and I think this is an interesting, again, contrast and example of how to enjoy these experiences at different times of the year. So that is a short overview. Um, there is more inf information around seasonal development in the, um, at the website nzcntourism.co.nz. Um, go there if you would like to have more information in depth. We also have some tools that help you plan. The seasonal module fits very much in developing the product offer. This is the Lean Canvas plan on the page um, and our different modules help you build that. We suggest that you um, break down what your seasonal offer is to help brief in the development of your website, product and promotional material. Um, if you do want additional information, the details of where to go are here, but the website pretty much is the conduit for everything. Good luck and um, hope you um, have real confidence to develop um, exciting seasonal offers.